AITA for not cooking a western enough meal when having guests over. My boyfriend, 24M, and I, 21F, have recently hosted a dinner at his place with some of his co-workers and their partners. He recently got a promotion at work and his friends over there were asking for a treat. I'm South Asian, Bangladeshi, and sometimes when I have leftovers from some of the traditional dishes I cook, I pack it for his lunch. Apparently many of his co-workers liked the smell and look of his food and some even tried it and liked it. So when I asked him if we should just invite them at his place where I would cook some traditional dinner, he got excited and said yes. He gave me a heads up that two of them are vegetarian. For dinner, I cooked white rice, tomato chutney, mashed potatoes, spinach, onion fritters, fried eggplants, Chinese vegetables, spicy egg curry, chicken curry, lentils with green mango. For dessert, I made gajar halwa, carrot-based pudding. I also served veg strips snack and beverages before dinner as an evening snack. All of them seemed to love my cooking and kept complimenting me throughout the night. They also asked me many questions about the ingredients and what is the best way to eat each of them and I was happy to answer those. After they all left, my boyfriend started ranting, what was that all about? I got very confused and apparently when he assumed I was gonna cook traditional meals, he thought it would be more like what they serve at the weddings. Biryani, chicken roast, spicy beef curry, kebab, fried fish, and other type of veggie dishes. He thought what we served was not up to the standards especially when guests are over. I argued that most of my dishes were vegetarian friendly and these are comfort food which are also quite tasty since they were all seasoned properly and made from scratch. He keeps saying that he should have just taken them to a restaurant and that I'm lucky none of them are Indian or something, otherwise they'd be able to tell that we just fed them grass. I was very hurt by that comment since I put a very high effort into all of that cooking when I don't even live there. I want some fresh outside perspective. Was I ta? NTA. Dinner sounds delicious and just from the number of dishes seems like it was a lot of work. Two problems I see. Your BF didn't bother to help you cook for a dinner for him and his colleagues. Your BF didn't even care to ask what you were making. Your BF doesn't seem to appreciate you and what you do for him. In ta, sounds like the dinner was a success. I wonder why he's really upset. NTA, yeah as a fellow Bangladeshi. Your boyfriend's is an absolute ass. He's disrespectful and xenophobic to boot cause WTF was that, grass, comment and what did he mean but. The whole, lucky none of them were Indian, comment? Ask him to explain that and if the answer isn't filled with xenophobia and bigotry and absolute ignorance that shouldn't exist when your partner is Daisy. You made an absolutely amazing spread of food. All of which required a lot of effort and time and care. He has no right at all to disregard your hard work and if he wants to eat what they serve at weddings then he can hire a wedding caterer to ale it for him or go buy it from a restaurant instead of disrespecting you in just a disgusting manner sorry what he tried to impress his co-workers with your cooking which you absolutely nailed and now he's complaining why are you with this person he sounds like an entitled jerk if he wanted you to do something specific he should have said you sound beyond amazing and you deserve to be appreciated. No. Celebrated. NTA. Not even a tiny bit. Editing to add. Sounds like the dishes weren't as much to his tastes. But he doesn't want to say that so he's trying to make you the problem. NTA but your boyfriend sucks if he wants that to be cooked so bad he should learn to do it. Does he always speak to you this way? This is not okay. NTA. My dear. You are a gem and likely this is your first true love. 
I'm afraid he doesn't deserve your affection. He judges and critiques what he himself cannot do. He offered no help or suggestions. Your meal offered variety and excellent options to those not necessarily familiar with your cuisine. He's a boorish. Shameless awe. NTA. You went above and beyond cooking a huge meal for his co-workers taking their individual dietary needs into consideration. He needs to show some gratitude before criticizing you with such invalid criticisms. NTA and the audacity of him to say you're lucky none of them are Indian when you're freaking Bangladeshi. Keep the co-worker friends. Ditch the boyfriend. What a disrespectful and xenophobic asshole he is showing himself to be. Fed them grass, is how he thinks of your thoughtful, well-loved traditional food? You're too good to waste your efforts on this rudeness. NTA and you deserve a huge apology. You worked hard on that meal and should have gotten a thank you not a lecture. The way your BF reacted is a big red flag. If he doesn't appreciate your efforts when you go out of your way for him, what does he appreciate? Can I be your friend? I want to try all these things. You did something really thoughtful that was appreciated by the guests. You are NTA. But your BF is. Edit. Hit submit before I finished typing. NTA. Your menu sounds delicious. If he wanted to serve a specific menu, he should have communicated that with you properly. Instead he just expects you to read his mind. That none of them are Indian or something. Well, then they would have known that this was a good home cooked meal. NTA. Good grief I'm sorry. Dot but your boyfriend. Holy skikies. We're not allowed to say what he really is in here. My mouth is watering and I'm so jealous of him. Tell your BF he can cook his own ficking meals and you make whatever you want. Sounds like he is a giant awe. Not you. I am a second-hand vegetarian. My food is vegetarian. Usually. But I don't live under a rock and I'm open to veggie meals. Maybe it's the fact it's 6 p.m. and haven't had dinner yet. But I'm drooling. That sounds like a hella good spread. You are NTA. NTA. Your BF sounds like a piece of work. The guests were happy it sounds su idk what stick is up his butt for his comments. Next time he be welcome to cook if he has such standards. NTA but your boyfriend is ta. He thought? I hate when people say this. If he thought. He should have said what he thought instead of assuming you knew what he thought. By the way. I think you need a new boyfriend. What in the casual racism? NTA. NTA. That all sounds incredible. And filling. And did the guests even complain or just him? If the guests were happy. Who cares? Is he South Asian himself? If he's not. He's even more tough for trying to explain your own culture's food to you. Good God. NTA. Also. If you ever need someone to eat your food I will volunteer. That sounds amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.